Within the last year, many innovative COB lights has been published by different companies. And in this video, I will review the interesting Gold Crow GC60 from Inki. My name is Kasper Nørgaard and if Inki rings a bell for you, it might be because I previously reviewed their wireless video transmission system, the Inki Benbox or the gimbal, the Inki Warthog. The Inki GC60 is a 60 watt COB LED light which comes in both a daylight and a bicolored version, which I have. It is a very unique light shape, just like a flashlight, but with all the features from a traditional COB light. We have a chip with a bicolor capability and the entire body is made from aluminum alloy, which also helps to cool down the light. It also protects the light from damages and it protects the chip by a glass plate in the front. Around the body we have four quarter inch threaded mounting options. I would say the light is pretty heavy for its size, but that is due to the internal battery of 9600 milliamp hours, which will last up to about two hours on full brightness 100%. At the back of the light there is a small but very bright display showing all the necessary informations, and I will get back to that later. Included is also a reflector disc with a mini Bowens mount but it is very flexible and by flipping out the arms, you just enhanced it to a standard bones mount. The included handle is designed in a very clever way with more mounting options that I have ever seen. There are threaded holes everywhere and we also have a NATO rail. Furthermore, it works as a light stand adapter with a spring-loaded angle adjustment on the top. And just by pushing that spring-loaded button, you can angle and change the angle due to the gears, it's also very sturdy. The handle also makes it possible to carry the light in different ways. Inky also provides a 100 watt USB-C charger to recharge the Gold Crow in just two hours or to power it unlimited. And if you look closer, you might wonder why there are no buttons on this light. And that is because they added this cool control ring with hot stops and the hot stops helps to dial in the settings. When powering up the light, simply rotate the wheel or the control ring to unlock it from the transport mode. When that is done, the light is ready to operate again. Powering off the light happens by turning the reel in the opposite direction multiple times. Rotate the reel to the right changes the output or the intensity of the light. And as you can see, it's also pretty bright. Turn it half a stop to the right and hold it just for a second to enter the color temperature mode. And if not changed, it will jump right back to the main screen by itself. So just dial it when you're in the color temperature mode. The color temperatures can be changed from 2700 Kelvin up to 6500 Kelvin. Rotating half a stop to the left enters the effects mode where the M1 is the standard constant light mode. We have up to, I believe it's nine different modes. And we are now introduced to the display of this light and we can see in the informations on the top row, like battery level, both in an icon, as in percentage, as voltage, and the remaining runtime. And I think that is really awesome. The lowest row is the output information because this light can also work as a power bank for other devices while powering at the same time. Other informations are the output in percentage, effects mode, Kelvin value, and the unit's temperature. When testing the light, I noticed I got a pretty hot light after using it for a long time, but I forgot to read the temperature, so I can't mention it here, but it was not hot enough that I couldn't touch it. It should also be possible to control this light with the application called GC Sync, but due to the application is not in English, I haven't succeeded in pairing it yet. It is also possible to get a Bluetooth remote control if you don't use the application. The built-in fan will come on at a higher temperature, but it's very quiet and I haven't had any issues with it. Using it with a softbox, it's also possible. And here you see it using it with a 90 centimeter softbox from Nice Photo and a 60 centimeter edition without any issues. The handle is very sturdy and very strong, so I trust this setup. Of course, nothing is perfect, so as usual, I have some cons or things to improve for the manufacturer, and this time it's Inky. 
And the bones mount itself is very cool, but I think it's a little loose and the security pin is different from a normal bones mount, so I don't trust it that much. So Inky, please just add a spring to prevent it from accidentally unlocking it and I think that would unlimit all the issues. Again, when using the applications, it should be in English so we can all use it and we all understand and can operate these light, great lights. I wish Inky included a padded carrying case with a zipper that could be used for transport and storing the light safely. That is very important to me at least. I think the handle is very innovative and it's new, but I would love to see an update or an upgrade so it can be angled in both directions. And in that way, I don't necessarily need to disassemble the light, rotate the handle when going from a collapsed transport mode to a softbox mode, mode when angled up or angled down. And at the end, I would say I highly recommend the Inki GoPro GC60 as your next light, as long as you have a normal ceiling height, due to it will be adding a little bit more in the dimensions at the back of the softbox, but then again, most COB lights probably will. And finally, thank you for watching. Please hit that like button below, ring that bell, and I hope you consider subscribing, and I will see you in the future.